Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy IV, the After Years, the Crystal Story, and I just kind of want to show you what happens when you start it. You just pick everyone's uh, little story that you were, you want to use, and then you start. And we start with Luca, Rydia, Edge, and Golpez. I'm sorry, Man in Black, we don't know who's Golpez yet. And then we already played the Narian story. And now we get to look in the, micro in the telescope. Yeah, so if you ever played Final Fantasy VI, and after Kef Kefka destroys the world, this is kind of kind of similar. No, not really, I guess, but the world basically is basically getting destroyed, just like the world in Final Fantasy VI did. Not quite as bad, but it's still happening. Somehow meteors are falling down from the sky. I don't know. Maybe the mysterious girl's doing it. Maybe Golbez's Malaz is do it. Is doing it. We don't know. It's not really explained exactly how meteors are falling down, but I think you're just supposed to assume that the mysterious girl is doing it. Oh, by the way, the crystals are broken up into uh, like three parts. There's, and I'm going to. Uh, this is the first part. It's called the gathering, and you'll find out why it's called that later. And of course the moon is getting closer. As we saw in the Lunarian story, the moon was like, moving closer to the or to uh, the blue planet. So it's it's going to hit us soon. But we're going to try to stop them. And now here's Edge's castle. His kingdom, I guess. And now we're back on the overworld. Yeah, so the world map is very different. Yeah, so since we don't know much, do they don't, they don't know what's gold as yet. And so Edge is like, do you know anything about them? And then Radio says, oh, look out, a meteor, and they had to move. And Golbez takes the takes the wheel. Oh, if you, somebody doesn't know it's Golbez yet, sorry. It's just. And though you're playing the Crystal, you probably play Lunarian story, so you probably already know. Oh look, we get to find out what happened in the main story now. The cliffhanger finally ends that I put back in February. And we're not going to know exactly how it ends until early 2012. So, yeah. Yeah, so the Plant Eater, which is pretty good called that because of the moon getting closer. And so we so we land outside Boron. And I saved the two dolls. So, you can use them if you want, but I'm not going to use them. They're they're just kind of there. I saved them just because I could. Yeah, so, I'm guessing the mysterious girl put up this barrier. Cause how, I don't know how she did that, but it's up, so we can't do anything. Another for, okay, now if you want to, you can go into Boron and fight guards and level up a bit. I'm not going to do that, because I'm just going to level up in the second part. So... Oh, by the way, now your cap is lifted. You can level up as much as you want. Uh, first we're going to go get a summon for Rydia. Yeah, got Chocobo summoning, so we'll just put give that. Oh, we also have Goblin and Cockatrice. Let's give her that. And we'll go give her Chocobo. There we go. By the way, Goblin and Cockatrice, Bomb, and My Flyer are all summons you can get for Rydia. You can even get them in Final Fantasy IV, like the original, but they're ex they're much harder to get in the original game in Final Fantasy IV. The only one I ever got is Mind Flyer, and that was on the remake and the Lunar Ruins. And now we're in Mist.
Yeah, so mist, the mist is covered in a mist. And it's kind of like the mist dragon. So the mist dragon is bas the spirit of the mist dragon is basically protecting the village from the meteorites and and the monsters and stuff. But the question is that is that really her mom or is it someone else? So she's given us the task to free the Adolans, and if you remember correctly, the Adolans were all in a certain place. And if you don't know exactly what I mean by that, you'll see soon enough. After this part, you'll probably get it. You have to think back to the stories, but... Yeah, and one of them is really hard to figure out because they don't really tell you how you're supposed to get because those are much different to get. So first we'll just go, let's go to, uh, let's just go to Mysidia. Maybe there's something there we can do, right? Sorry about that mic cut off. Anyway, so make sure you save before you go into, like, four towns. I'll, t I'll tell you which town you should save before you go into. I really can't tell you why, because it'll spoil part of the plot, but go to Mysidia first. Trust me, that will be a big help. You'll see why in the next part. But anyway, so you now you should have at least one summoning for Rydia, and everyone else should just regular attack. Maybe bio on them. So you might be thinking, how are you supposed to know Ramu is here? Well, if you think back to Porum's story, this is where he attacked. And now said that, you might be able to figure out where the others are. Um, in case you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Plus, there's one you can't figure out where it is anyway. And there's a t and there's probably like three others you're probably thinking, well, where are they? But I guess you'll figure all this out later, I guess. In oh, wait. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. Yeah. Okay, here's something else. Be careful, because something that I found out, you can kill them um, if, you make too, if you give them too much damage. And they will die, so don't don't hit him too hard. It's, but but Ramut's okay because he doesn't really have a weakness. There's no, I don't think. No, I don't think Thunder really had a weakness till Final Fantasy X. So, Final Fantasy X was water, but there's no water spells in this. That's a for tidal wave, but we don't have that spell, so it's fine. I'm just kind of showing you all the different little, all the different summons. Yeah, so he'll, he'll use Judgment Bolt. Be careful. Yeah, you want to heal after he uses an attack like that, because it it hurts. You want to keep everyone to about 900 to 1000 HP. That'd be a good, that'd be a good, mar water, a good space to be at. But you don't, don't worry too much about Golbez, because... He has so much HP, he doesn't really need all that much help. I guess I haven't already said it yeah, I'm just going to be calling him Golbez. I think I already said that, but just to make sure. I don't know if this battle is timed, or if it's after you give it a certain amount of damage. I think it's a damage-based battle. But yeah, be careful, so... He has... He has three... No four attacks. He has his regular attack. He, he has Thraga, Thunder, Thunder, uh, what's it called? Thunderbolt, and then Judgment Bolt. Oh, Thundera. I'm sorry, not Thraga. Thundera. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, like I said, make sure you keep everyone up to about 900 to 1000 HP. If you're at 900 HP, he probably won't be able to kill you, but. Just to make sure. So you can use Bio if you want, but it's not really going to do anything. And I also have a lot of Shurikens, so I'm just going to start using those. That, that, there's Thunderbolt. And that's actually his strongest attack. It's even stronger than his... 
Okay, so the battles pretty much don't. After she says that, don't attack. Because usually that means the battle's over. He hit him even more, he might die. So. Don't. Just don't. Wait for the battle to be over. Just keep healing. Because he probably won't attack you anymore. So you just wait. There's not much to say. Yeah, there he goes. Rydia. And he joins your party again. Or re returns to Rydia. So we got we got him back. That's good. Ramu. Oh look, it's Porum. So she was basically keeping Ram it was keep was, uh, keeping Ramu out with her magic. I guess he would probably like shell or something protect. And then you came, Rumbu said, "Oh, three new people for me to attack and tied to you." And then you, then he returned to you. And if he dies, that's it. You can't get him anymore. And you probably want to get all. You want all the help you can get because the later the bosses in this game and this story are hard. So and there's a lot of them. So yeah. Actually, I think. And then never mind. So you want to get you want to get her first, and you'll find out why in the next part. But now we get to find out what's going on in the castle. So she just takes the crystals from you. So now she ha so now she has all four. I think she has all four. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, she does. She does. So we're we gonna get to see a fight. Oh, uh, well, nobody. I guess not. So that's it for this part. I'll see you in part two of Final Fantasy IV: The Crystals. See you later.